You hear that? My carbon monoxide alarm is telling me that it needs to be replaced. So I'm gonna replace it because for the last 20 minutes, I've just been hearing beep every 20 seconds or so. <laughs> of course I go into my toolkit and the screwdriver that has the little adapter that I need to use a square bit drive, it's missing. So as per usual, we're having to kind of jerry-rig something up here. Always jerry-rigging. The carbon monoxide alarm is powered by the camper's battery. Now, not only is that kind of strange just because I've never seen it before, but also it seems extremely inefficient because if the only way to replace the carbon monoxide alarm when it needs replacing is to completely take out the old one like do they expect people to just rewire everything themselves i don't understand so since i didn't have the right screwdriver this is what i had to do there's the little square drive bit right there and i put it on this little extension piece and then obviously that falls out really easy so that complicated it and then i took my crescent wrench here and i was basically having to put the end of the wrench onto the end of the extension and very carefully and slowly turn it, painstakingly about a quarter of a turn at a time. Nothing's ever simple, guys. Nothing is ever simple. This is supposed to be a fly fishing trip mainly, but as you could probably tell in the footage, it's quite windy intermittently. So fly fishing when it's windy is just not fun. So this evening I decided I'm just going to use the spinning reel. Um, tomorrow I'll have a full day of fly fishing. All right, folks, I think I'm going to stop fishing for the night. It's starting to get a little bit dark and cold, and I'm also starting to get really hungry. So we'll be back on the river tomorrow. I'm actually gonna be heading to a new river altogether. It's in the same area, but this is just the river that I happen to be camping on. The river tomorrow is supposed to be really good for fly fishing, so fingers crossed that we have better luck then. Now, I don't know if you guys have been to Central Oregon, like around the Bend area, but I personally love it here. I mean, not only is there just an immense amount of outdoor recreation opportunities, but there's also just so many areas like this that are just free, open public lands that you could disperse camp on, you could recreate on. To pay for a campground around here is pretty rare. I mean, there are plenty of paid campgrounds as well, if that's what you're looking for and that's what you're into, but there's just so much national forest and just so much BLM lands in so many places to camp for free and it is awesome. It's beautiful. It's just it's a great spot Oh, I didn't mention this but today today's actually my birthday. So cheers Happy birthday to me, right? 
Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be having a chicken noodle salad with a spicy peanut sauce. Now I know I said salad, but trust me, emphasis on the noodles and the chicken. I'm not usually one to make salad as a meal or order salad at all. I'll eat it if it's there, but I, I typically don't go out of my way to eat salad. So trust me, the salad is a secondary component. Not that there's anything wrong with salads. If there's people out there who love salads, you know, more power to you. But I just don't want you guys to think that Johnny Boy's eating a salad for his birthday. Although that's an act, that's actually not a bad idea, you know? As you get older, it's a good idea to start to take care of yourself and the more salads, the better. <laughs> took a while. There was a lot of components to this meal and honestly it probably doesn't look like the most extravagant thing I've cooked. But I mean, seeing everything that went into it, I know it's gonna be really good. So let's just dig right in. This slaps so good. There's so many delicious flavors all melded together. You get the peanut butter sauce, of course, but then you even get hints of the balsamic vinegar that I put in there. Um, so it's tangy, it's rich, it's spicy, it's savory, it's fresh because of all the cucumber and the, the lettuce. It's really good. This is a solid, solid dish for sure. <laughs> What an absolutely beautiful morning. As soon as I finish this coffee, we'll get back in the truck, relocate to the next spot, and hopefully, hopefully catch ourselves a fish or several. I'm okay with that too. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm currently in Central Oregon and right now, this time of year, there's actually a really well-known salmon fly hatch going on on the Deschutes River. But I actually opted against fishing that hatch mainly because I'm such a novice fly fisherman anyways that my chances of catching anything are quite limited. But on top of that, it just gets so crowded because it's such a well-known hatch. And I mean, I've gone in years past and it's like fishing shoulder to shoulder with strangers in some spots, which totally not very fun, especially for someone like me who likes to come out here and enjoy solitude. So instead I opted to find a nearby river and take advantage of the fact that most fly fishermen in the area are probably attempting to fish the salmon fly hatch. So here we are, as you can see, I have this absolutely gorgeous stretch of the river all to myself here, which is, perfect so without further ado i'm gonna go get geared up and then we'll get out there on the water i 
I didn't stop by any of the local fly shops to get any kind of beta or intel on what's biting, what the fish are biting currently, but we're gonna start off with this little mini itty bitty dry fly because, well, dry flies are obviously the most fun way to fly fish. So if that doesn't work, we'll switch over to a nymph or something, but for now, wish me luck. Trying to get over close to the shore there. It seems like a good place that there would be some trout hiding. Now I did do a little bit of research online about what's currently biting. I didn't stop at a fly shop, but I did do a little perusing of the internet and it seems like most people are still using nymphs this time of year. But I just don't like fishing nymphs nearly as much. It's not as fun, but we'll have to switch over eventually if, if the dry fly just isn't producing. Little plastic bottle just floating along in the river. That doesn't belong there. Definitely gonna be packing that out. Put this by my camera so I don't have to carry it around and then we'll pack it out later when we're leaving, of course. Oh shit, that's good enough. I'll, I'll know exactly where it is. That was left-handed, so give me a break. See if we could find any little fish hiding out anywhere. I think I'm gonna have to just switch to some nymphs. I don't think the, the dry fly is gonna be productive at all. That being said, I am getting a little hungry, so I think I'm gonna go have some lunch. And when I get back, I will tie on some nymphs. If that doesn't work, then we will go find a new stretch of the river to fish. For lunch today, keeping it simple, got a classic turkey, cheese, avocado, tomato sandwich, an apple, some crackers to go with this really delicious, like it's kind of like an olive tapenade, but there's like peppers and some other stuff in here as well. It might be a tapenade, I don't know, but it's really good if you like olives. And I got a nice kombucha to wash everything down. My goodness, there are so many mosquitoes right now. They're just swarming everywhere. I'm not even gonna stay at that spot because there's so many mosquitoes. And I'm an idiot and I totally am not in the summer mindset, so I didn't pack any kind of bug spray or anything. So they are really just tearing at me. I probably already got bit like 15 times in the last, oh my gosh, they're following me. They're following me. Good news, I came back to my truck because I actually remembered that I did have bug spray in the camper packed away already. It's 100 DEET, which yes, keeps the bugs away really well, but it's also really gnarly. It's like super oily and kind of nasty. So I try to use it sparingly, but in situations like this, I have no other choice, you know? Now I've mentioned this in the past, but in case you don't recall, 
Mosquitoes absolutely love me. I get torn up in the summertime. So I guess I might as well just start to embrace the fact that for the next few months, I'm just gonna be nonstop covered in bug bites. But hey, that's just the price that we pay for good weather, right? Especially here in the Pacific Northwest, especially out in all these places that I go to. Oh well, there's worse things in life than a few bug bites. All right, I've now swapped over to a little zebra midge nymph. I've got a strike indicator on there as well, so we'll see if we have better luck this time. doesn't belong in there. Whoa, those are some huge strike indicators. I'm gonna make sure we're packing any trash that we find out to preserve these beautiful places. All right, so I have fished pretty much this entire section of the river and I have yet to get a bite or even see a fish. So I think I'm just gonna head back to the truck and drive to another spot. Hopefully we have better luck there. It's a pretty rough road to get into this spot and with a camper on the truck like this, I have to take it super, super slow. Otherwise, if I start going a little bit faster, the camper starts bouncing everywhere and it literally feels like it's about to rip off the truck, which would not be good. So that was pretty interesting. And now I'm at a beautiful stretch of river that looks very prime. And I did manage to sneak a little peek at the river and I did see some trout this time, so. Fish just went for my fly and I missed it. Looked like a good sized fish too. That's a good sign. At least that means they're biting. I'm calling it a day guys. It was a full day of fly fishing and unfortunately I didn't land anything, but I did get a bite here as you saw and it was really exciting. That's why I love 
dry fly fishing is because you get to see the fish actually come up to the surface and try to take the fly. And it's just really exciting to me. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sure it's exciting to a lot of people as well. That's why people love to do it. Anyways, uh, it was a fun day out fishing and I will definitely be continuing to come out and trying to get better at fly fishing. So hopefully we can start landing some fish on the channel very soon. It's getting a little bit later in the day now. I still have to go find a camp spot. I wanna actually have a campfire tonight. So I gotta get a move on. This is my favorite part about having a bathroom other than the fact that my girlfriend enjoys it, of course. It's just having a place to hang all of my wet fishing gear and really just any wet stuff in general. I could just put it in here and not have to worry about it. All right, let's get a move on, eh? You guys probably already noticed, but I'm actually back at the same spot that I stayed at last night. And I mean, look around, can you blame me? The bad thing is though, yesterday I wasn't really aware, but today is closer to the weekend. So there's more families here and there's a campground right across the river. So there's a bunch of people camping at an actual campground right across the river, which is kind of a bummer, but it's just for the night. Oh, what's that? The axe, you like it? Thanks, it's a beautiful axe, isn't it? This is the Agdor Wood Splitting Axe by Haltzbrock. It's a Swedish company, they've been around forever. They make beautiful axes. This thing cuts through wood like butter. I got it on huckberry.com if you're interested. Link in the description box down below. Now before I actually start the fire, I'm going to heat up some dinner real quick because I'm starving. I do have leftovers from yesterday that I'll be eating.
That just about does it for this one. I know that I didn't catch any fish, unfortunately, after a long day of fishing, but rest assured, I will be back out here very soon. Maybe not here specifically, but back out there metaphorically, um, trying to get better, trying to learn, trying to improve. Hopefully, very soon, we could start catching some more fish on the fly on this channel. I know it's cliche, but it really is nice to just get out there on the water. It's not about catching fish, man. It's just about being in the water and being at peace with life, you know? <laughs> okay, it would have been nice to catch a fish. Anyways, thank you guys like always for watching. You guys go out there, go on some adventures of your own, live life, beat the status quo, yawn on the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.